Welcome back to the Have You Seen a Podcast YouTube channel. My name is Mason Knight. Sitting across from me is Cash Krause, and this is our YouTube exclusive American Cinema Trailer Reaction. So if you guys like what you see here, please be sure to like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification as we drop videos here every single day. So with that said, Cash, what are we reacting to today? Today, we are reacting to a horror, upcoming horror movie, third in the series. Wow. The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. I do like that title a lot. The Devil Made Me Do It. I do like well, that title. Well, it's a, it's a good cop-out for anything you do in life. It's scary. And I think it holds up in a court of law. Court of law, technically, yes. <laughs> it's almost better than pleading the fifth. You just say, the devil made me do it. Yeah. And if that judge is a good, good old faithful... Uh, you know, religious human being, he will say, well... Technically, he has to say. He has to say, well, <laughs> Unless to true. go against his religion. Yeah, because I he acknowledge has. there is a devil, so therefore... And I acknowledge, I acknowledge he, does he does make people do bad things. You're catching on, Judge. So, I like what you're thinking. Okay, all right, I'm with you. Yeah, this is the third in the Conjuring series, yes. the eighth movie in the Conjuring universe. That's fine. That's including the Annabelles, mm -hmm. the Conjurings, I think... The Insidious, maybe that, I don't know. I don't think that's in the universe, okay. actually. But yeah, this is uh, the third one. I actually, I don't hate these Conjuring movies. I think they're pretty scary. They do rely on a lot of jump scares, unfortunately. Did we review the second one years ago on this podcast? I want to say we did. I don't, I don't know. I think we might have, yeah. Yeah, because I remember going and seeing it and talking about it, and I'm talking like that was back a, a long time yeah. ago, but... The first two are directed by James Wan, who, of course, these days he yeah. does uh, Aquaman. Aquaman. I like James Wan a lot. Of so course, uh, made his bread, made his uh, career doing the first Saw. Yes. Fantastic. But he's not directing this third one. No. Nope. It's, kind of, it's kind of scary. He is he is credited him and one other guy with the Let screenplay. Oh, okay. I was but, gonna say executive producer. No, he he's definitely the regular producer on this one. So he's actually <laughs> he's actually on set. Yeah, right. Uh, which is nice, but that that definitely does scare me. But I love Vera Farmiga. I think she's fucking fantastic. She is a tremendous I think she's actress. Gorgeous. Yes. She's an older, a little say, older lady. She's, I'd say the whole Farmigas are. Oh, oh my yeah. god! Her her sister is great too. Yeah, she her is. little sister is. Fucking she's in fantastic. American Horror Story and yep. whatnot. I can't She's remember. She's a great actress, too. Farm it's something like Farmiga. Something Farmiga, yeah. So, I mean, we got half the name, <laughs> yeah. right? It's something weird, like Talissa or something. Yeah, it's something unique. But, yeah, this is uh, the th I like Patrick Wilson, too, of course. He's of course. in so much shit these days. He's in a lot. But, uh, yeah, don't forget these films are based on a true story. Oh, 100% <laughs> true. No fabrication in these stories I don't, whatsoever. I think at this point they're kind of going off the rails with how true bit, and realistic yeah. this stuff <laughs> yeah. is. But I think it's being released directly to HBO Max. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, so that's worth, worth it for it. sure. Yeah, Absolutely. definitely worth yeah. it. Uh, the film is set to release June 4th, 2021, and it is distributed by Warner Brothers Pictures. Uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong. I thought at some point it was um, Blumhouse that, that did the Conjuring series. Did they never have a hand in that? Yeah, I think possibly they are. So it's distributed by Warner Brothers, so I think it's produced by Blumhouse. By though. Blumhouse. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost 100% positive that they produce these films. Okay. I mean, it's right up their fucking alley. Yeah, I mean, this film was set to release almost a year ago, September 11, 2020, which is a morbid day to release a horror film like this, <laughs> but hey. Fortunately, it landed on Friday that day, so someone had to release a movie yeah, on September true. 11. It's true. You can't just null and void the date, yeah, right? You forever. Gotta, yeah. I mean, we got to. <laughs> we got to move on at some point. We got to right? heal people. Yes. We got to heal as a country. Yes. So someone, I mean, it's not a movie about planes or something no. like that. <laughs> no. If you release the hit anime it's movie probably, Planes on yeah, September right, 11, yeah. Then you may have some bad publicity, yeah. but this... It's also not a film on healing by any stretch of the imagination, <laughs> but... Uh, all right, should we jump into this? It is a film about trauma, though. It is, and we do know trauma says. So, <laughs> yeah. It does. All right, let's get in. I have not seen this trailer. I'm going in completely fresh. Here is The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. That guy killed hey. someone, I know. Yeah. You okay there? Jesus. I think I hurt someone. This is Ed Warren, here with Lorraine. All right, let's get started. Residents of Brookfield were shocked this afternoon by the broad daylight murder of Bruno Sauls. 
court accepts the existence of God every time a witness swears to tell the truth. I think it's about time they accept the existence of the devil. Whatever is going on, whatever happened that day, oh. that was not Arnie. It's a witch's totem. We think your family was cursed. And that connection's still broken. I'm only interested in reality. But I can see things that your people can't. Something terrible happened here. A master Satanist is not an adversary to be taken lightly. She's doing it again. She's reaching out to the darkness. Lorraine, you need to come back. Saving him worth everything you have. Because that's what it may very well cost. All right. Master Satanist. Man. <laughs> I didn't know you there know were my, levels to Satanism. You know how many years of Satan school you had to go to become a master? Can I guess six? <laughs> it's at least six. It's, it's like getting your... Six. Yeah, well, yeah, it's getting your master's. Right, it's your MBA. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's four years and plus additional two <laughs> to three. Yes, we all know that. Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That that just looks all right. It, the problem with these uh, Conjuring films is they always kind of become action films at some mm. point. Yeah, for Where sure. they have these big kind of action sequences that they get to like physically fight off this demon. That's what I don't like. I don't I like wish, it either. I wish these these types of franchises, they always try to one-up the, the next movie. Yeah. It's like, just stay grounded, stay what it is, what it's meant to be. And stay in your genre. Story. I don't want it to be a horror action, action film, film or something. Yeah. I want it to be a straight up... I thought the the waterbed thing was cool. That was scary. Mm, that was a cool effect. Waterbeds are were such a weird fad. They were fun. They were uh, when I was horrible young, for your back. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Hor <laughs> <laughs> Which, yeah, when you're fun when you're a kid, the same thing. Like my, I think my my dad's like best friend. He's kind of like our uncle. Had a waterbed. It was super cool when you're a kid. Yeah, but I don't know, like anyone actually fucking. Enjoy no one it. actually has it, a, a lot of maintenance. Yeah. Those things leak. Your fucking your house is ruined. It's true. <laughs> Uh, my parents had water one damage. when I was a little kid. Yeah. Like when I was like three years old, they had it for about a year. It was such a huge thing in like the seventies or like even the sixties. I mm. think they're huge. You had water bed salesmen. Shit, it's you're not supposed to be sleeping on water. No, <laughs> no, it ain't right. But it you know ain't what? natural. It's been so long since I've been on a water bed. I'd love to know how it feels. I, I can. Forget. I just imagine it. I, 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 I imagine it perfectly. It's just. Yeah. Uh, it's fun, fun for a kid, I guess, but not fun if you got a person stuck no. in there. It's hard to sleep then. It is. But yeah, The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. We'll probably watch it because it's at yep. least coming to HBO Max. Of course. But, we'll, uh, we'll probably review it too because I could imagine not too many great films are coming out June 4th. So it is towards the blockbuster season, but yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, it's these. It's going to be these types of films, these fucking blockbuster Hollywood or yeah. ho Hollywood horror films. And we'll get through them as we always do. Yeah, we I've got like, a Fast 9 to look forward I to. I wish, too bad we don't have an Ari Aster. Oh, fuck. At the end of the last two summers, we've had an Ari Aster mm -hmm. to look forward to. Yeah, we don't have one this summer. Or a... Thanks a lot, Ari. <laughs> or a Robert Eggers film. No. Nope. We don't have any good... What's? I can't think of a good horror film that's coming out. Spiral, The Book of Saw. 
<laughs> okay, moving on. All right. Well, that is our reaction to The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, the third in this little uh, trilogy. Eighth trifecto. in the universe. Eight, eighth in the universe. Thank you, Cash. Uh, if you guys like what you see in here, please be sure to smash that like button, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification as we drop videos here every single day. Thank you so much for watching and listening. My name is Mason. That is Cash Krause. And until next time. Bye.